So Phil Campbell's here this morning. Morning, Phil. You brought Oscar with you. I have. Now, you are a dog trainer, aren't you? Yes, I am. So your dog, Oscar, has been immaculately <laughs> bathed. She's been, he's been in CS once before already yes. this morning. So, but not all dogs are going to be quite as calm, possibly, in, in these kind of a work environment, are they? No, they're not. Um, you know, you, you've got to pick and choose your, your animal, your dog. Um, Oscar's a prime example of the type of dog you can take into work. He's relaxed. He, he's, he's pretty good with, with almost any environment that you take him into. Um, if you've got a young dog, you've got to ease them in. If you get a rescue dog, you know, obviously let the dog settle in a little bit first. Um, take the dog into work for short periods. Uh, see if the dog takes to the environment, being approached by people. Um, noises. Noises. Some dogs don't cope well with noises. Oscar doesn't cope very well with um, gruff men's voices shouting. If I'm watching sport on TV, Aww. he exits the room. Oh, really? Yeah. Like commentaries? No, that would be me shouting at the television. Oh, I see. Oh. When you get out, oh, I yeah. see. So you just, I might just raise my voice, and he'll just slowly toddle off into the kitchen and line his. Can bed I in the just kitchen. say what one one challenge? Oh, thanks, Oscar. One challenge I've noticed with Oscar is that you know it's lovely being at work and everything, but I'm completely distracted. Yes. I had loads of really clever questions for you, and they've just gone out of my head Straight because all I can yeah, exactly all I can think about is how cute Oscar but that is. That is a potential thanks, problem, Oscar. isn't it? I mean, yes. that you know, a dog in the workplace. The other thing is that not everyone is going to like, is going to be fond of dogs. Exactly. The, you know, the, the, there's also uh, you know the the. There's people who plainly do, just don't like dogs. People uh, are allergic to them. Some people, some people are frightened are allergic. of dogs. Some people are uh, allergic. And that, that is a you know, cultural everybody. thing. Some people yeah. don't like dogs around. Um, yeah. It's not for everybody. So you have to weigh that up in the workplace, clearly. You've got to put the question out there. Ask the boss. If you've got an understanding boss, maybe you can give and it a trial you period. You have to have the type of job where you can say, uh, you oh. know, at a certain time of day, right, I'm going to go and walk this exactly. dog around the block. Not everybody can do that. Well, the thing is, if you've got a dog in the office, in the workplace, and you decide, right, OK, I've got to go get some paperwork from the office next door, and the dog suddenly starts creating and howling, yeah. maybe that environment's not for the dog. I mean, yeah. it's not... Taking your dog to work shouldn't be a fix for separation anxiety in the dog. Because the there, dog's going to exhibit it when you lo leave the office. Is there anything you can suggest for people who do take their dog to work in terms of training? What do you need to be able to get them to do? I, I would socialization socialization is really truly important for any dog whether it's a young dog or a, a rescue dog that you've recently taken on um, socialization in many different environments people um, noises noises are a big deal you know if you're in an office and there's a telephone ringing I've had a case uh, fairly recently where the telephone goes off dog starts howling and barking well, in an office, That's the phone's going to be ringing it? a hell of a lot. If you're in a call centre. Exactly. <laughs> uh, it's going to be bad. We've got some pictures, so uh, stay with us for a second, sure. and Oscar might have a look at these as well. Does Oscar watch TV? Uh, it, do, from they? a distance, but he's not, uh, he's not big on it. Now? TV programmes uh, with animals on sometimes. Yeah. 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 So let's see some uh, dog pictures. Uh, Maurice, I hope I've oh. said there is. Maurice <laughs> is a big favourite. This is uh, David who sent this picture in. <laughs> yeah, he's a there great face. Let's look at Gizmo. Gizmo goes to the office and even has his own security pass. Very cool. Look at that. Uh, One-year-old uh, Sprocker keeps everyone entertained. This is uh, Dawn's place of work. Yeah. And Caroline's puppy, Bo, has lifted the office mood and they love taking it in turns to go for walking breaks. That's the other thing. I found when I brought my own pet into work, I brought my dog to work, yeah. and there was a little bit of a tussle in the office about who was going to take her for a walk. Quite, there's so. quite, quite a bit of competition. I tell you one other thing, is, uh, and it stands to reason, doesn't it? If you have a very big dog, it's necessarily an issue. I mean, it's interesting. Most of those dogs are smaller dogs, weren't they? Yeah. I mean, if, you, yeah. if you've got a Great Dane... I mean, it's just an issue, isn't it? it? It's, it's doable, but you obviously you have to have a... You're in, in a situation where, A, the office is big enough, and, B, the, the, the being big enough, the dog's got a place where it can just take itself yeah. off and relax. And is it fair to the dog? Uh, to be fair to the dog, if you're going to take your dog to the office, I mean, clearly, uh, common sense. Take your dog for a darn good walk in the morning. Yes. Before you take the dog to the office, you can't fill the dog full of high-protein food first thing in the morning when he's woken up. Let him out in the garden for five minutes, take him to the office and expect he's going to chill out all day. That's not going to occur. Wow. Oscar's been wonderfully behaved. Yeah. Well, no surprise there. You knew that was going to happen. I hoped. <laughs> <laughs> he is absolutely gorgeous and very calm. Yeah. And does it, is it important that the dog is that sort of nature, a calm well, When dog? I work with dogs, Oscar's a rescue dog we took on at a year old. And um, we worked a lot on um, certain obedience uh, exercises. Like I always say that the stay exercises teach the dog a little bit of self-control. With, with distractions, it's all well and good getting him to do it in the kitchen for his bowl of food. Yeah. But then, can he do it in the middle of the park 
when you walk 20 metres away when another dog walks past. Oh, he's off. He's off, he's had enough. So my job is to get Sally back in the room. Sorry, I'm completely... Speaking of distractions, are you coming back in now? Are we at work now? It's always having too much fun. Nice to see you this morning, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you, and thank you, Oscar.